Well, it's a question a lot of you have been asking. Will the weather cooperate for the eclipse? While it is too early to make a forecast, we can look to the past for some insight to this question. Brian Brett Schneider joins us, a climate scientist with the National Weather Service in Alaska. Thanks for being here. Brian, you recently analyzed the typical cloud cover in the path of the eclipse during the first half of April here in Texas. What can you tell us? Well, um, overall, it, it looks pretty good based on uh, climatology and, and history. And you know, generally, the farther south and west you go uh, across the entire path of the eclipse, um, the better chance you have of, of having clear skies and, and, and an opportunity to view the eclipse unobstructed. Now, the map you made, uh, it's got 40 percent, 50 percent, pretty common throughout Texas. What do those numbers actually mean? Any clouds, no clouds, a few clouds even could still obstruct the uh, eclipse? Yeah, so it looked at data since um, 1979. So, you know, basically 43, 44 years of data and looked at each hour um, in the, the, the time that uh, the eclipse is going to occur. So I think a four hour period. Um, so it, it's just averaging, you know, hundreds of individual observations and, and uh, identifying what the average was for all of those. So it, it's not uh, saying that, you know, there'll be 50% cloud coverage on April 8th, it's saying that, you know, 40, 50 or so percent of the time uh, it's obstructed by clouds. Um, but, but there's also, you know, degrees of cloud cover, you know, so a, uh, a thunderstorm is a different type of cloud cover than kind of a high uh, thin cloud. Uh, but in, in some respects, they're treated the same. Um, so it, it is an important caveat. The 40 to 50 percent is saying that 40 to 50 percent of the time between noon and four in the first half of April, there are some clouds. Correct. Now, the time of the eclipse uh, here in central Texas being in the early afternoon has got to help our chances. But certainly the time of the day is favorable. Um, you know, you're going to uh, have less less of that low stratus fog, um, of course, at the expense of more kind of cumulus and uh, diurnal, you know, temperature driven clouds that, that are going to be more common later in the day. Brian Brett Schneider, a climate scientist with the National Weather Service in Alaska. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you.